What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today we're going to be taking a look at all of the submachine guns in Call of Duty Ghosts. So, uh, as you guys know, yesterday I actually put up a video about all the assault rifles, so make sure you guys go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But, uh, but today, we are moving on to SMGs. Now, I actually have some hands-on playing time with the game, I played it for about 6 hours at the reveal, so I've played with a couple of these SMGs, and, and I can give you guys my feedback and my thoughts on those, as well as I know the names of all the other ones that I didn't play with yet, and, and I've done some research and we can kind of figure out what to expect from this SMG class. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, uh, there are six total SMGs in Call of Duty Ghosts, and the first one that I want to cover is the MTAR-X. So that's right, the TAR is now an SMG. It's always been an assault rifle in all the Call of Duties in the past, but now they have it in SMG form, and then I also believe that they will be bringing it in assault rifle form, as you guys saw in yesterday's video. But uh, anyway, yeah, so uh, it's an SMG, and in the game it's described as fully automatic, longer range, with moderate recoil and I really couldn't agree with that more you know this is one of the two weapons that I was able to use in the SMG class at the reveal and, and it was a good weapon like it, it had high damage and it killed quickly but it also had a good amount of recoil to offset that damage so I mean overall this thing it, it was decent it wasn't my favorite SMG out of the two and, and I'm assuming that it's going to be a little bit more run of the mill like it's going to be a mid-range SMG nothing really truly stood out to me but uh, it is a good weapon you know it, it's probably going to be on a few of my loadouts when I want to make it up, but I don't think it's going to be the best SMG in, in any case. Now, uh, moving on to the second weapon that I want to cover, this is the other one that I was able to play with, it's the Vector CRB, and in game, this thing is described as fully automatic, highest penetration and damage in its class. So this is crazy, because I mean, the Vector has always been like one of the weaker SMGs, like they've always gone high rate of fire, really low damage, and I've never really liked the Vector all that much in all the previous games, like I, I never really felt like it was a consistent killing machine in it. I don't know, sometimes it just seemed like it took too many shots to kill, but this time around in Call of Duty Ghosts, this thing has the highest penetration and the highest damage in its class, and after playing with it, you can kind of tell that this is going to be one of the best SMGs. I mean, this thing, it, the recoil was not that bad. It was a little bit more vertical than you're used to seeing with SMGs, and it was just, it, it was really good. Like, I, I liked it a lot, and I'm thinking this might be, like, the top one, two, or three SMGs in the game. So, it's pretty exciting. This thing was pretty good, and I highly recommend you guys check it out once the game comes out. Now, uh, moving on, we've got four more SMGs to talk about. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to play with these ones just because they weren't unlocked at the Call of Duty Ghost reveal, but at least we know their names, and I've done some research to figure out, you know, kind of what we can expect in the game. So, uh, starting off here, we've got the K7, and this thing is a 9mm permanently suppressed SMG in real life. It's used by the South Korean Special Forces, and it's virtually noiseless and muzzle flashless. Like, the, the suppressor that's built into it is apparently really, really good, so this thing is extremely hard to detect. So, uh, that's, uh, that's kind of what we can expect in Ghosts. I mean, it's probably going to be a permanently suppressed weapon. We have that in the Honey Badger and the Assault Rifle class, so why not have an SMG with the same deal? So, you know, again, like I said yesterday with the Honey Badger, this thing is going to be great for a, a mode like Search and Destroy or something where you want to stay stealthy and you don't have to use up an attachment slot to put on a silencer, but, but at the same time, it's not going to be as good for something like Domination where you want to be able to make a little bit more medium to long range shots. And, and the reduced range from the suppressor is, is going to make it tougher to kill people. So, uh, yeah, that is the K7. I'm assuming it's going to be a permanently suppressed submachine gun. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now, uh, moving on to the next SMG, we've got the CBJMS. And this thing in real life is tiny. It's like, you know, one of the tiny little MP7s or, you know, something like that. And in real life, it's meant to fulfill a bunch of different roles. It's supposed to be a PDW or a personal defense weapon, so like an SMG. An AW, an assault weapon, so like an AR. And then also an LSW or a light support weapon. So, you know, we used to have LSWs in the LMG class. So, I mean, this thing, it, it sounds like it's really really versatile I don't know how they're gonna you know incorporate this into ghosts but it, but it sounds like it's pretty crazy and then also in real life this thing is supposed to be really, really effective against, like, armored vehicles and stuff. So, I don't know. This thing sounds like it's going to be very, very powerful if Ghost sticks true to realism. 
but but it's so small I'm assuming it's gonna be one of those SMGs that's powerful but it has a super small clip size so you really can't kill more than one to two people at a time before having to reload which is uh, which is kind of bad so uh, I don't know that is the CBJ MS let me know what you guys think now I'm uh, moving on we have kind of an old favorite coming back from Modern Warfare 3 or at least a very similar version kind of a brother to an old favorite we've got the Bison PP19 so what does this thing look like it looks like the PP90 yes that's right and in fact the PP90 is often described as like a more modern rival of the PP19 so uh, this one you know the PP19 the one that's in ghosts is is the older version of this type of weapon which is weird because ghosts is kind of set in like current times or near future you know just uh, around this time period so I don't know why they uh, they wouldn't you know put the newer weapon in but uh, regardless it's probably gonna act like the PP90 in Modern Warfare 3 it looks very similar it reloads the exact same way in real life and stuff like that so if you're a fan of the PP90 you will most likely like the PP19 and just kind of like an interesting little tidbit here uh, this thing was designed in the early 1990s by Viktor Kalashnikov and Alexei Dragunov the sons of the creators of the AK-47 and the Dragunov SVD sniper so I don't know I just I, I thought that was pretty cool that, that that's where this gun came from but anyway moving on to the final SMG in Call of Duty Ghosts we've got the Vepr the VEP PR and and this thing is is the SMG that I'm looking forward to the most kind of like the AK-12 and the assault rifle class but anyway this thing was first designed as a Ukrainian assault rifle but it's now regarded as an SMG and it's essentially an AK-47 that's been modified to a bullpup design which means the magazine is is attached you know reloaded and stuff behind the trigger unlike the AK-47 so I you know that makes the gun shorter and it shoots slightly smaller rounds at about the same rate of fire as the AK-47 it's the same weight as the AK-74 and essentially this thing is the AK-74 of Call of Duty Ghosts. You know, it looks a little bit different. It's going to look a little bit more like the AK-47. But but essentially, this thing is the AK-74. We haven't seen that thing in forever. I've missed it so much. I missed it in Call of Duty 4. I missed the one from Black Ops 1. It's finally coming back in Call of Duty Ghosts. So that should be exciting. I'm assuming it's going to be a very powerful weapon. And, and it's going to be pretty good. So uh, there you guys have it. Those are the six SMGs that we will be able to play with in Call of Duty Ghosts. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know which ones you're looking forward to which ones you think might be a little bit better than the others and, and which ones you think are duds thanks for watching guys i'll catch you all later make sure to check out one of the other two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet peace out